Men who only had one testicle can be a problem to some people. It's certainly not something a lot of people would share with others. As it turns out, monarchism, the scientific name for having this condition, does not make you less of a man. You are still able to sire children and function normally. If you think anything different, you might want to take it up with these people who only had one ball. General Francisco Franco Bahamondi was the leader of Spain following the Spanish Civil War, 1939 until 1975. Franco was a natural military leader and became a Spanish general by the age of 26. It was while Franco was a captain in the army, however, that he was shot in the lower abdomen and lost his testicle. He swore his physician to secrecy, they didn't have doctor-patient confidentiality back then. It was probably a good thing, too. Hitler and Mussolini helped to put Franco in power even though he remained neutral during World War II. With friends like that, you probably aren't that nice of a guy. Born an Italian on the island of Corsica, Napoleon went on to become one of the greatest leaders of France and a scourge to all of Europe and Russia. He was one of the greatest conquerors of the 18th and 19th centuries and some even considered him the second Antichrist. All of that warmongering might have been the result of anger over the fact he only had one testicle. No one really knows how the French emperor lost his ball or even if he was born that way. It was not discovered until after his death. This amazing American cyclist who has won the Tour de France on seven consecutive occasions. He is also the survivor of testicular cancer, which is the reason for his monarchism. He's been very open and honest about his condition and is the founder and chairman of the Lance Armstrong Foundation for Cancer Research and Support. The Governator is not someone to tangle with. He is a past champion bodybuilder and actor. According to several sources I've found in my searches, Schwarzenegger may only have one testicle. Is it a result from his, legal, steroid use back in the 60s and 70s? Did he have some sort of accident? No one knows for sure. Well, if they do know, they might be too afraid to tell anyone. Finally, this is one of those people that you'd be happy if he was missing both of his balls. Adolf Hitler was probably one of the most evil and reviled men of the 20th century. He was also playing with only half a sack. During World War I, Hitler was wounded in 1916 at the Battle of the Somme. When medic, Johann Jamber, found him shot in the abdomen, he saved his life. Do you wonder if he didn't regret that in later years? Supposedly, Hitler's first question to him was, will I be able to have children? We're just happy he didn't. Remember this story is subjective. According to some, the medic told a priest who wrote this story down in the 1960s. However, the British had a raunchy little song during the war, sung to Colonel Bogey on parade that said the same thing. Was it true? You can be the judge. <laughs>